There's no need to have a huge marketing budget when your customers can promote your brand by spreading the word to their friends and family through word of mouth marketing for free. Hi, it's Nani from Printful's marketing team. 92% of people trust recommendations from friends and family. This means that people are much more likely to buy products recommended by people they know. Word of mouth marketing combines product marketing, content creation, and social media marketing to leverage the customer's voice. It's a simple and inexpensive way to sell a top quality product without the seller needing to spend too much time, energy, and money on marketing. But before we jump in, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We put out videos every week to give you tips and tricks you need to succeed with your e-commerce store. The first step to getting started with word of mouth marketing is to invest in the customer experience. People don't talk about a neutral experience. They talk about a positive one or a negative one. So be memorable, provide great customer service, offer free shipping by building shipping costs into your price, and include custom pack-ins like stickers, notes, or coupons. Reward customer loyalty by giving customers a free gift on their birthday or their anniversary of shopping with you. Send your email list exclusive content and offers to make them feel unique. These small incentives into the customer experience might be just enough to get people talking and sharing about your brand to the people in their circle. Next, you want to gather and publish product ratings and reviews. Word of mouth marketing product reviews work like this. The customer leaves a product review on the page for the product they bought. Then, store visitors see the post and might be influenced to buy the product based on the reviews they've read. 95% of customers read online reviews and they're that much more likely to buy a product when a website has ratings or reviews. Reviews assure customers that your product is of high quality and value and performs the way you say it does. So get reviews up on your site. You can start by using an add-on like product reviews for Shopify or software like Bazaar Voice for marketplaces, both of which automate gathering reviews for you. They send out emails to customers on your behalf, and if they leave a negative review, they'll be forwarded to you so you can address the issue. And if there isn't a reviews app for your preferred e-commerce platform, start by identifying and nurturing your top customers. Ask for ratings and reviews after a customer has reordered your product, because if they're reordering, something must be going right. You can do this by embedding a rating and review form into your transactional emails. You can learn more about how to do this in our email marketing video. The link for that video is in the description below. You can also ask your customers to leave reviews on online review platforms and search engines like Google or Facebook. Some customers are more than happy to send in reviews. Others might be hesitant. So consider offering them a 10% discount if they leave a review. Then push your top reviews to your homepage, product pages, and social media. Start fostering a community on social media by knowing your product, company, industry, and clients well. Observe your customers to know which social media channels they spend the most time on and focus on those channels. Figure out how to talk to them in a way that appeals to them. Are they casual or formal? Are they more straight-laced or do they use a lot of humor? Take note of what they respond well to and decide on your social media strategy accordingly. From there, build a strong connection with your audience by humanizing your brand. Ask for feedback from your audience and reply to mentions and comments, regardless of whether they're positive or negative. If people leave negative reviews, use your authority to guide the conversation. And remember, the best PR practice is to be open and get ahead of an issue before it becomes a problem. You can also create a hashtag for your brand. Include the hashtag in your posts. The more visibility your hashtag gets, the more likely your customers will be to use your hashtag. This makes it that much easier to find and repost user-generated content. User-generated content is content that your customers create and post online. It could be an Instagram post of them wearing your product or a YouTube video of them unboxing your product. These posts will be that much easier to find once you've created your brand hashtag or a hashtag specifically for user-generated content. Encourage customers to create content by posting customer photos on your social media profile or product pages. Then tag your creators. They'll be excited that you shared their content and they'll be that much more likely to share it again and tell their friends. You can also create a contest where customers can enter a giveaway for a free gift by sending in pictures of themselves with your product. Suggest that their friends vote on the post, which can increase your word of mouth reach even more. For a real life example of user generated content marketing in action, check out our video on Mukhov, a printful customer who is killing the hashtag game. The link for that video is in the description below. 
Referral marketing is a more classic form of word of mouth marketing. Leverage referral marketing by giving a discount or a small gift to any existing customer who refers a new customer to you. You can also incentivize a new customer by offering them the same discount. It makes it worthwhile for both parties and it makes spreading the word easy and quick. And feel free to offer perks for different levels of promotion. Raise the incentive so the more people someone refers, or the more their referrals buy, the larger the discount or gift they receive. Use software like Smile.O, Loyalty Lion, or Woobox to create and manage your referral campaigns. They make it easy for you to track referrals and for your customers to claim their rewards. Lastly, identify and engage with influencers in your niche and get them to promote your product. This will help your marketing strategy because you're reaching out to people who already have an influence over people's purchase decisions. In fact, according to the Edelman Trust Barometer, 58% of people say they bought a product because an influencer has recommended it. The influencers you choose can be anyone from bloggers to industry leaders to social media stars to existing customers. Just look for people with a high following and good engagement rates. They should be relevant to the product you're selling, have an established reputation, interact with their base, and seem authentic. Reach out to bloggers within your niche and build a relationship with them. And after that, ask them to write an article about your brand. Offer them a referral or affiliate link so they can profit from their posts about your product. The only investment on your end is that you pay a commission when a sale is made. And if no sales are made, then you've increased your brand awareness. And if your product is still in the beta stages or if you're launching a new product, invite influencers to try it and give you feedback. Then use influencers to leverage exclusivity. Encourage them to post about the product and review it. People want what they can't have, so you'll likely receive some buzz about your product. A number of them may do it for free, but you might have to offer payments to others. And that's what you need to know about word of mouth marketing. Which of these strategies do you want to try with your brand? Let us know in the comments below.